What is up guys and welcome if you guys are new around here. This has been a crazy ride over the last seven months. You know, I really didn't think we'd be growing this channel as fast. Honestly, I know I've said it before, but I was just expecting, I was just aiming to get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Think of the fact that by seven months, we're already at 150 subscribers, projected to maybe even be at 200. It's crazy and I'm just so excited to keep growing. So I'm so excited for one day to be able to just have these daily uploads for you guys to have as my daily job for you guys. With that being said, I'm Daniel and this is Garquick. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to join the family. We might not have a name for this family yet, but join the Discord. Let's figure out a name for this family so we can all hang out and we can all just, you know, play Halo one day, Call of Duty, whatever you guys want to do. Let's take the opportunity for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So let's get right into this video. So just as a disclaimer, if you guys see me on my phone, which yes, is an Android phone, and yes, it is a Note 10 Plus, I do like Android better than Apple. While I do have some Apple products, and I do actually use a laptop from Apple to be able to record video, to, to be able to edit videos and upload them for you guys, I do prefer just the operating system of Android a lot better to answer your first question. Like I was saying, I'm going to be on my phone a little bit just for reading these questions off online. So hold off in the comment section of roasting me for that. Going to the first question of where did I grow up? So I think we need to start from actually where I'm from. I was actually born and adopted out of Romania. Um, I don't know my birth parents, but I was, you know, I'm thankful enough for my adopted parents that they're, they're amazing people and they brought me to America. And I grew up in the metro Detroit area, most specifically the Macomb County, if you are from Michigan. I did spend a lot of time in the Warren Sterling Heights if you really want to get to specific, but I do not live there right now. And that's going to be taking us in, into question number two of where do I currently live? So I actually lived in the Macomb County area pretty much until I was 21. And, you know, Giles and I kind of just picked up everything and we just left that whole comfortability and where we were from and we moved to Kansas City, Missouri and honestly I love it here. I love the people. It's so amazing and of course we have great barbecue and of, and of course we have a great sports team as you can see every Friday that I'm wearing a Kansas City Chiefs shirt. Going to the next question of how tall am I? I'm actually six feet tall. If you want to go off on my government ID, technically I'm 5'11 and a quarter the last time I was measured but that really doesn't matter. If you guys want to know how tall I am, we're going to go with six feet. Dogs or cats? Now this is something that I actually grew up with dogs my whole life. I've never had cats. I've had friends that have had cats. I really haven't had that many issues with them. It's just one of those things that I prefer dogs. I'd like one day to have a Corgi or Golden Retriever. I completely love those breeds, but you know, dogs, I just I, I just really enjoy them a lot more. What year was I born? If you guys didn't know, I am 22, so that would mean that if we did a little bit of quick math, I was born in September 26th of 1998. If you guys want my social security number, unfortunately, I can't give you that, but that is when I was born and how old I am. With being 22, I did kind of just get up and move, which is a little bit crazy in a way to think, but I also did graduate college, if you guys want to know. I, for about three and a half years, I was able to get my bachelor's degree, and I went for networking and cybersecurity. Long story short, I originally went for networking, and I wanted to go for IT. That's something I really care about, and I'm happy. But in my last year, they stopped offering the classes for networking, so I had to switch over to cybersecurity, and that ended up landing me this amazing job that I'm at now in Kansas City for a healthcare company called Cerner, if any of you guys are local here. What is my favorite drink? So, personally, I love Mountain Dew. I love Sprite. I really love Cherry Coke and Pepsi, but unfortunately, I'm allergic to red dye. If you guys didn't know, that's a two for one right there. But if you guys didn't know, I'm allergic to red dye, so I actually had to stop drinking those, and I just ended up going with some other soda. I ended up going with Mountain Dew and Sprite. But I mean, it's not even something that I drink that much or really go for. I prefer like an energy drink if possible. Kind of building off that last question, the next one is actually tea or coffee, and I don't like either of them. I mean, I do like a peace tea, for example, but I don't like traditional tea, and I definitely don't like coffee. I don't like the flavor of it whatsoever. So if I really need something, for example, if it's gonna be like a long travel day, and it's, you know, I have to wake up at like far, four in the morning, and I have to go to the airport, I'm gonna definitely go for an orange monster, or I'm gonna be going for some energy drink type thing. Now going into the next one is what are my life goals and I actually have a lot of life goals so I mean growing up where I grew up thankfully I was in middle class I really didn't struggle for much but it was one of those situations of everybody kind of stayed where they were with my family and we all kind of stayed close together. I'm the first person really in my family to kind of move out of that norm. Since I was young I kind of had this aspiration and this dream for some reason to always just make a lot of money I'd be able to help a lot of people help people get houses and any other thing that they need whether that's mentoring them whether it's just not financial I just want to really help people in life. That's something I've always aspired to do, and I feel like I'm able to contribute that with somewhat in, with this channel as it continues to grow as well. The next question is, what actual sports have I played or am I playing now? 
And I don't play any sports right now. I haven't really played sports since high school and a little bit on the side besides like basketball and stuff like that. But in high school, I did stuff like basketball. I ran track. And in my last year, I did try football because I really love the sport and I love playing it on the side with my friends as well. But unfortunately, I ended up hurting myself and tearing my ACL. But that's a story for a whole nother day. And make sure to like this video if you guys want to see more on that story. It looks like my camera's actually trying to kill itself. We're going to try to speed this up a little bit more. And it's going to be actually what books have changed my life or have I read that I love. I don't read a lot. One of my favorite things to do though is use Audible, whether I'm driving to work, working out, listening, just in general. It's a great thing to do just to kind of kill two birds with one stone. So one of my favorite books is actually When I'm Talking You'll Know I'm Dead by Jerry Weintraub. It's kind of like a memoir or a story about him and his life in a way. And it really puts in perspective how much can be done in life. A lot of us kind of escape by just doing the minimum and it really inspires me to be more as a man, be more as a person and to contribute as Jerry was able to do all crazy things from being the manager of Elvis to the manager of Frank Sinatra. Next question is actually, what is my favorite movie? If you guys have seen it probably before that I love Star Wars, I wear a Star Wars shirt. That's one of the things that I really care about. And if we're going into what is specific one, it's the original sequel that came out, you know, in the 70s forward. While I do like one through three and seven through nine, it, they just don't hit the same as the original ones as I, as I used to watch them back in the day. Going into the last question, it's actually who is my favorite YouTuber and really that kind of goes into who has influenced me as a person and as a YouTuber. So obviously with this being a car channel, I've been very influenced and very inspired by James Stradman, Clayton and Faith from Summit Auto Life, his friends, the Burlack, are all those amazing people. I had the, I had the opportunity of meeting James, Clayton and Faith in, in life and they're amazing people. In the workout way, I've been really inspired by C.T. Fletcher and what he's been able to do and what he says. You know, again, I've had the opportunity to meet C.T. and he's such an amazing person. They're all humbling people. It's really humbling and as, as you guys will see when the day that it comes that you guys can actually meet me in person, you'll, it's a lot of humbling because there's you can actually have that face-to-face -face interaction with them. It's really cool. So that's all we get for this one. If you guys wanna see more content like this and you guys wanna see more of a get to know me, make sure to check out the Discord link down below. We can continue the conversation and, and you know, who knows, maybe at 250 subscribers, we'll have another giveaway and we can do something similar like this again. You guys have a great one.